how to add product categories on Wix step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be showing you how you can add product categories on your Wix store. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into adding product categories, we need to understand how you can formulate your Wix store, what are the templates you can go with, and you know how you should structure your store. So with product categories, you have a inbuilt option in your Wix dashboard if you have installed the Wix shop system already. Obviously, if you're building an e-com store, you probably already have that. But as you guys can see over here, you have the product if you click on your store product and then on the bottom left, you can see you have categories as well. Now you can start creating categories directly over here. But a lot of people don't realize that when you're creating categories, you also want to create categories on your page, which is going to be a different process altogether. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how you can do both of these things and actually be able to display the categories that you have. So to get started, first off, I'm going to add a couple of sample products. So I'm simply going to go into my store products. I'm going to delete uh, all of the pre-existing one. And now I'm just going to click on new product, it's a physical product, and let's say it is flat. So I'm just going to add a title. And then on the right side of each individual product, you can even see your categories. So you can start creating categories directly from here. But I find that to be a little annoying sometimes. So I just like to add them um, once and for all, just adding them all together instead of having to add them manually. So let's say I have one product called flat. And I'm going to create a couple of more products so we can categorize them. Let's say we also have platform heels. And now I'm going to create like a separate type of product. So let's say I have those will be in the category of shoes. And let's say I also have something like bags, clutch bag. And I'm just going to refresh my page so all of my products are loaded up. Sometimes it might take a couple of extra seconds for all of your products to be added. So you guys can see I have two different categories of products. One is shoes and other is bags. So now I can go into the category section over here. And some pre-existing categories are going to exist within the template that you have selected if you've selected a template. And you can delete these categories. So I'm going to delete these categories of new arrivals and all products. Now I'm going to click on new category over here and I can create my new category. So one category is going to be footwear and I can start adding my product simply by selecting them from here. Just like that I've added my product and I can also set a image for this as well. Now, once I've added my product into my category, I can do a simple shortcut and click on add category to site and I can directly save it and start building my page, but we're gonna build both of our pages for our categories together. So we have our first category of footwear. Now you're going to select it once more and create your second category, which for us is bags. So I'm going to save this like so. Now, once you have done that, you can get started with creating pages to display your categories. So for this, you actually have to open up your website and start editing it. So we're just going to open up our website and we are just going to create pages to display the categories or display our product in the mentioned categories. Now, as you guys can see, this is our basic home page. We're going to go into the shop section or you can just click on manage pages over here. And then within your store pages, you can go into your product page and you can click on add shop page and it will add a new shop page where you can display a certain category. Now, once you've added your new page, you are going to manage products. Just click on manage products and a pop-up will appear. Now within this pop-up, it will show you all of the products that you are currently displaying. So you can choose categories from over here. And once you choose categories, you can select the category you want. So let's say we want to do footwear. And we're just going to add this category like so in this particular shop page we want our bags category or our footwear category only like this and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to rename this page obviously this is our second shop page that we created and i'm going to rename this into 
footwear and I'm going to click on done. Now, one important thing to remember is that I don't want this to be a basic page showing up in the direct menu of my Wix store. So for that, simply click on manage pages over here. And once you have your page, you can make it a sub page as well. So you guys can see you have your site menu. You want to go into your site menu and you can go into footwear. You guys can see the footwear page is directly listed in the site menu. You're going to move it right below shop and then just hold it with a left click and then move it towards the right. So once you move it towards the right, now it has been created as a sub page of the basic shop page. So just like that, I am going to save this. So I'm going to publish it just like so. And I'm going to show you guys what it's currently looking like. So just like that, I have my little menu over here. And within the shop page, you guys can see I have a pop-up of footwear. So the shop all shows all of my products. And then if I go into the shop section, I can select footwear. In the same way, you can create categories for any kind of niche as well. So I created two categories. You can create as many as you desire or as are required by your specific niche of business. It's simple, easy, and effective and helps in categorizing your product and making it easier for your customers to find the products that they are looking for. And if you're not using Wix to create your e-commerce store and are using any other platform such as Shopify, then make sure to check out our other videos on Shopify as well, where I can teach you how you can categorize products on Shopify, add meta fields, add dynamic data into Shopify, and so much more. And in this way, you can connect your Wix store to its designated categories and build different pages for the different categories of products that you have. Now, keep in mind that the category section in Wix is pretty good. However, there are many ways that you can improve the product categorization for your product. So make sure you are adding the relevant tags to each product so they are easy to search for. So whenever you are listing products, instead of having to manually add each individual category, you can manage them a whole lot more efficiently directly by marking them with tags as well. You also have the options to add advanced information such as your fulfillment, the tax group, and brands. Now, if you're creating multiple different brands, if you have multiple different brands selling under one store, then it's very essential that you have categories for those brands as well. So instead of just adding it in the advanced section by just adding a brand over here, make sure to create a brand category by the name of the brand. So let's say I'm selling two brands. Maybe one is called Fifine, one is called Durden. So I would add both of those categories and make sure to create separate web pages with my Wix website editor to make sure that people are able to find the designated brand category that they are looking for. You also have different requests that you can put in so you can make sure that your back-end stock requests are managed. You can also find products to sell directly from Wix and you also have inventory management from here as well. So you can add the inventory and mark in stock and out-of-stock items. Now, Make sure that whenever you create a category directly from here, whenever you're building your category page, you include the designated category in your specific Wix page. Because if you create a page named Jewelry and you're just going to save it over here, you can click on Add Now over here. If you're just creating the web page and you're not actually putting in the designated product, it can really lead to a very mishmash. It can really lead to a mishmashed website. So make sure to keep that in mind whenever you are building your categorization system for your product on Wix. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about Wix, Shopify, or any other platform, platform. Leave those questions in the comment section down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.